Hi, my name is Matt Ball. I'm part of the Solutions Engineering team here at Postman. Today, I'll be taking you through a short presentation on the Postman Enterprise platform and specifically what it has to offer for those organizations in the automotive sector. Let's get started. There are a couple of common pain points that we're hearing from the industry. Uh, these revolve around privacy, safety, and industry pressure. So we'll be diving into these today to see how the Postman platform helps solve for some of these challenges. In addition to those industry-specific challenges, more generally, we're seeing challenges in terms of the consumption and production of APIs as well. Um, we often see low productivity amongst teams. It takes too long to ship a new API version or for folks to get up to speed with APIs. Those APIs that are shipped are often of poor quality as a result of lack of standards and common tooling. And the organizations themselves have a hard time implementing any kind of governance that sets API guidelines and determines what an API should look like within that organization. So Postman supports the entire API lifecycle. Uh, Postman really sees two life cycles. There's the life cycle of the consumer and the producer. Um, and our platform really aims to cater for both of these life cycles such that both producers and consumers can collaborate together. So what we'll do today is we'll take a look at the Postman Enterprise platform. Uh, we'll walk through some of it and talk about how these challenges can be solved. So as we know, software is really eating your car and underpinning a lot of that is APIs. So as we move into the Postman Enterprise platform here, one of the first things we want to consider is how do we make those APIs available within the organization? How do consumers discover those APIs and how can they get to grips with them? Postman offers something called the private API network, which is like an internal catalog of those APIs that you want to promote. This makes finding an API internally really easy and it means that teams can remain highly productive as they can locate those APIs that they need to work with and they can quickly access assets for those APIs, such as mock servers, the definition for the API, and also the API's documentation. We've now moved into one of Postman's shared collaborative workspaces. This is really where our teams can come to take an API and move it through the complete lifecycle. This starts from right at the beginning where we're designing the API. Postman supports common formats for doing so. And then it allows you to move that API through the lifecycle and quite rapidly. We can generate resources directly from the schema, whether that's for documenting the API, mocking it out, testing the API, or towards the end of the lifecycle monitoring that API. Being able to take this design API first approach in Postman allows us to produce APIs much more quickly, uh, of higher quality, and helps us keep up with that industry pressure. Let's dive into a specific part of that API lifecycle. Quality of our APIs within the industry is, is really important. These APIs are often underpinning critical systems and it's important we get them right from a safety perspective. Postman lets you test endpoints just on a case by case basis, but it allows you to go through to fully automated testing as well, where we can take an entire set of endpoints and run them in an end-to-end -end fashion. Not only can this happen within the Postman platform itself, but also outside of the platform in places like the CI-CD pipeline. For example, here we can see that same Postman collection executing headlessly at the command line. So this allows us to install our collections as a quality gate within the pipeline in tools such as Jenkins and Circle CI, for example. The final piece when thinking about quality of our APIs within Postman is what happens once they're out there in an environment? How do we ensure that they continue to be that same high quality over time? This is where Postman Monitor steps in. This allows you to ascertain what the quality of that API is over an ongoing period of time. 
It allows us to look at any point in the schedule of when that monitor has been running to understand how those endpoints and those same assertions have been behaving. Layering onto this monitoring capability is the option to integrate those results into other common tooling. So if you're working with PagerDuty or Splunk or Slack, for example, you can have those monitoring results feed through into those contexts. And again, this helps your team stay highly productive, keeping them in the lane that they're used to receiving that kind of alert. The final thing we want to think about is how does Postman help from a security and privacy perspective? Postman factors in things like roles and permissioning in at the lowest level when we're thinking about environments and collections, but also allows us to control things at a broader level, such as the workspace itself. How does the bulk of people who are the part of this Postman instance have access to the workspace and what does that look like? And how do we provision the correct level of access to specific groups of users to ensure that they can remain productive and really get their jobs done? In addition to this, uh, Postman supports single sign-on and skim, and this means access to the overall Postman platform can be governed in the appropriate way, and we can quickly and easily provision and deprovision users onto the system. Not only do we need those controls to proactively manage our Postman Enterprise instance, but we also want to look into how it's performing over time as well. What effect is it having on our API program? Postman contains a set of reporting that allows you to look into everything from team activity and how folks are using Postman, right through to understanding how your APIs are constructed in Postman, what technologies are being used, how active are those APIs, and what assets are associated with them as well. So to summarize here, we've seen how the Postman platform can help with those common pain points we talked about at the start. Postman has those tools around roles, permissioning, access to the instance itself, and the reporting that gives you overviews to how the Postman Enterprise platform is helping with your API program. When we're thinking about the safety of our systems, we know that underpinning that is APIs a lot of the time. Postman really helps you produce great quality APIs with the different testing constructs that exist within it. And when we're thinking about industry pressure, that means we need to move fast. We need to move with trends. We saw how Postman can help us take an API first approach and the tools it has around the lifecycle that allow us to put together an API very quickly. Then there were those specific challenges that we were seeing amongst organizations with uh, trying to implement an API program. Those shared collaborative workspaces we looked at in Postman really help to boost productivity and bring teams together. Uh, the capability of going from manual testing right through to automated testing in Postman, integrating into the pipeline, using those monitors to ensure quality over time really helps to solve a point two here. And then finally, the reporting, the constructs around roles and permissions again, help us to bring more governance to our approach with APIs as well. So that's all we have for you today. Thanks very much for taking a look at this presentation. If you'd like to learn more about the Postman Enterprise platform, please reach out to us and we'd be happy to help.